Hello, welcome all again to a Chem Academy. So, this is our second lecture on electrochemistry. So, in the last lecture, we have discussed what does the electrochemistry deals with, what is mean by electrochemical cell, what are the types of electrochemical cell, then we have discussed what is mean by conductors, electrical conductors, that is, uh, there are two types of conductors, one is electronic and other one is ionic. Okay, uh, then we have come to the point that is Ohm's law. So, let us continue from the Ohm's law. We have discussed that this equation is the equation of Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, if we keep physical state of conductor constant like length, then area of cross section, mass of conductor, then what we can say a temperature, all these physical parameters, if we keep them constant, then the current flowing through the conductor will be proportional to the potential difference applied across two ends of conductor so this is a mathematical expression okay now <clears throat> let us discuss the next important term that is conductance <coughs> conductance conductance is shown by capital G actually we know that if a solution offers a resistance to the flow of electricity its conductivity will be low it, it will conduct the less amount of electricity and vice versa means what if solution offers very less resistance for conduction then uh, we can say it will conduct more and more amount of electricity therefore simply conductance and resistance will be inverse to each other therefore i can write simply conductance which is g is equal to reciprocal of resistance so g is equals to 1 by r more the resistance of the material or more the resistance of solution less will be the conductance okay now we know that r has the unit of ohm so it will be 1 upon ohm 1 upon ohm that is it can be written as ohm inverse or we can write ohm inverse or the inverse sign okay or we can say mho or another another term we can use is a Siemens okay the name of scientist from which the unit is given Siemens so all these are the units of conductance okay so conductance will depend on the resistance of material <coughs> now this resistance of material will depend on some parameter so resistance will be proportional to length of the conductor now here in case of solution what we are doing we are using the two electrodes and these two electrodes are in the form of platinum plates these platinum plates these platinum plates are arranged in parallel manner means what if these are the two plates then there will be certain distance between them this distance is a length of conductor and each plate has some cross-sectional area which is a so therefore r is inversely proportional to area okay so resistance proportional to length of conductor and resistance inversely proportional to cross-sectional area therefore if i combine these two equations together i will get resistance proportional to length upon area and if i remove this sign of proportionality then i have to put some constant this is rho into l upon a okay so this is a relationship between resistance offered by the solution this will be the constant here and this constant is called as this constant rho is called as specific resistance specific resistance or it is also called as resistivity of material resistivity okay now here why it is called specific let us uh, uh, try to understand the definition of this so from this equation if i take length is equal to area is equal to one unit that means what if length is in centimeter then if length is one centimeter and area is one centimeter square then they are called as one unit and if we have one upon one here i have left only with r is equal to rho r is equal to rho when l is equal to a is equal to one right so <clears throat> whenever a uh, conductor has unit length and unit area of cross section 
then the resistance offered by the conductor can be called as specific resistance or resistivity the word specific means the length and area are specified as one unit okay so this is uh, one more important formula from this chapter now depending on this row we can define the next term which is analogous to its conductance which is called as conductivity so let us try to understand the next is conductivity conductivity is shown by k okay so now conductivity deals with the specific resistance of solution not on the normal resistance but on the specific resistance simply as conductance is the reciprocal of resistance conductivity is a reciprocal of resistivity which is rho so i can simply say k is equals to 1 by rho k is equals to 1 by rho so conductivity is a reciprocal of resistivity now from this equation i can write rho is equals to rho is equal to r a upon l right rho is equal to r a upon l so if i put it here i will get 1 upon r a upon l so this becomes 1 upon r into l upon a 1 upon r into l upon a so relationship between k that is space specific resistance or uh, sorry specific conductance or we can also call it as conductivity both the words can be used I, you can use conductivity for k or you can use specific conductance okay so this is nothing but 1 upon r which was here also 1 upon r which is common here again but along with 1 upon r we have multiply by l upon a which is length of conductor and cross sectional area so if the equation contains length upon area it is called as conductivity and if the uh, equation contains only 1 upon r it is called as conductance okay so this is very important formula uh, from which you can determine the one more important term which is important here let us define the next important term the next term will be b this is b is what l by a so in this case we have ratio of length upon area so this length upon area is called as b and this b is called as cell constant b is called as cell constant okay so b is equal to l upon a now if you put value of l in centimeter and area in centimeter square so you will have centimeter inverse as a unit of cell constant centimeter inverse as a unit of cell constant so from uh, this i can find the unit of k because in k we have one upon r which is ohm inverse okay and l by a which is centimeter inverse so this is the unit of conductivity or specific conductance okay this is cell constant which is a property of cell because when you define when you uh, we can say when you manufacture the cell it has two platinum plates i have shown the diagram here only the two platinum plates okay each platinum plate has got some cross-sectional area which is a and the distance between the two plates is a <coughs> l so this l upon a is the characteristic property of the cell okay which we design for measurement of conductivity okay so this is very important for determination of k because if you want k you should know ratio of l upon a and l upon a depends on the uh, distance okay when you uh, manufactures the electrode which is used for measurement of the conductivity now the next important thing about this conductivity is molar conductivity next is molar conductivity molar conductivity which is shown by cab cap c or in some books it is also shown as cab m so next is molar conductivity so as the name suggests molar means what the concentration is one mole in one liter so whenever solution whenever solution contains solution contains contains one mole of one mole of electrolyte one mole of electrolyte in one liter one mole of electrolyte in one liter then such a solution is said to be suppose one molar and the conductivity of this solution is called as molar 
कंडक्टिविटी सो मोलर कंडक्टिविटी इज वॉट कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ सोल्यूशन हैविंग वन मोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट डिजॉल्ड इन वन लीटर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन ओके सो देर फॉर सिंपली मोलर कंडक्टिविटी इज वॉट कंडक्टिविटी 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 ऑफ वन मोलार वन लीटर सोल्यूशन वन मोलार वन लीटर सोल्यूशन ओके सो वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कंपेयर द कंडक्टिविटीज ऑफ टू डिफरंट सोल्यूशन्स देन वी मस्ट टेक सेम कंसनट्रेशन्स इफ आय टेक सोल्यूशन वन ॲज वन मोलार आय शूड टेक सोल्यूशन टू ॲज वन मोलार सो दॅट आय कॅन कंपेअर देअर कंडक्टिंग ॲबिलिटीज ओके नाऊ द फॉर्म्युला फॉर मोलार कंडक्टिव्हिटी द फॉर्म्युला इज व्हेरी सिम्पल कॅप सी इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजंड इन टू के अपॉन सी ओके वॉट इज कॅप सी मोलार कंडक्टिव्हिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन वॉट इज के कंडक्टिव्हिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन वॉट इज सी मोलार कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन सी इज वॉट मोलेर डी सी इज मोलेर डी ऑर वी कॅन से मोलार कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कॅन फाइंड द युनिट ऑफ कॅप सी लेट अस ट्राय टू फाइंड आउट युनिट ऑफ कॅप सी ओके युनिट ऑफ मोलार कंडक्टिव्हिटी फ्रॉम द फॉर्म्युला ओनली सो इन आवर फॉर्म्युला we have actually 1000 into k upon c cap c is equal to now k has got unit of ohm inverse centimeter inverse okay then c is what moles per liter molar concentration is what mole per liter now see 1 liter 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml isn't it 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml now remember 1 ml is equal to 1 cm cube okay 1 ml means what 1 cm cube therefore 1000 ml means what 1000 1000 cm cube 1 liter is equals to now here you can see it is liter inverse so if you make inverse on both sides we'll get 1 liter inverse is equal to 1 upon 1000 1 upon 1000 cm raised to minus 3 okay and if you put instead of liter inverse okay instead of liter inverse in this formula if you remove this liter inverse and if you put this 1 upon 1000 this 1000 goes on the numerator which is present here okay so we have left only with ohm inverse ohm inverse सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स अपॉन सेंटीमीटर रेस टू मायनस थ्री ओके दिस थाउजंड इज इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन दिस फॉर्म्युला ओनली सो वी कॅन से ओ होम इनवर्स सेंटीमीटर वन थिंग इज रिमेनिंग मोल मोल ओ होम इनवर्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर पर मोल दिस वील बी द फायनल युनिट ऑफ कॅप सी ओके बिकॉज दिस सेंटीमीटर क्यूब गोज ऑन द न्यूमिनेटर and becomes plus 3 and this minus 1 okay we will subtract it and we have left with the plus 2 that is centimeter square so this is the unit of cap c so we have defined three important terms regarding the conductivity first one was g that is conductance it was having unit ohm inverse then second was k unit was ohm inverse centimeter inverse and now we have defined cap c ohm inverse centimeter square per mole so these are the three important quantities when you talk about the comparison between the conductivities of solutions then we must use these values for comparison purpose because here we have defined the cell constant when you talk about this we have also defined the concentrations so if concentrations are specific then we can say cell constant is also defined then we can compare the conductivities of the two solutions so among these three terms the very important term which can be used for comparison purpose is cap c okay now let us discuss the next thing how to determine cell constant how to determine cell constant determination of cell constant so you can write down the formula which we have uh, just noted cell constant which is shown as cell constant b 
length upon area so you can measure the distance between the two electrodes and you can have the cross section area from that you can take the ratio of a length upon area and you will get cell constant but it's not so simple because if you want to measure the cell constant of a given cell you have to break it so that you can measure the distance okay but it is not feasible to break the cell while measuring the cell constant therefore IUPC has suggested that you can use either uh, 1.0 molar KCL solution or 0.1 molar KCL solution or 0.01 molar KCL solution you can use any one of these solutions okay to determine cell constant now what we are doing is IUPC has given IUPC has given the specific conductance specific conductance which is also called as conductivity specific conductance or conductivity of <coughs> KCL is given by IUPAC now what IUPAC has done they have used the standard cell whose cell constant is 1 and if cell constant is 1 see you can see K is equal to 1 upon R okay into L upon A what is 1 upon R G so K is equal to G into length by area this is what cell constant and if B is equal to L by A which is equal to 1 IUPC has used such a cell whose cell constant is 1 then what we have left with K is equal to G so by using such a cell having you know, a unit cell constant IUPC has measured the conductance which is called as specific conductance or conductivity so IUPC has provided provided all these values okay and if you prepare the solution of KCL in laboratory any one of these solution in laboratory and using the cell which is you are which you are having in laboratory by using that cell you can measure the G of KCL G of KCL is measured measured by okay by you in laboratory and this K okay K of KCL that is conductivity of KCL is provided by IUPAC so by using G and K you can determine B so B is equal to K of KCL upon G of KCL okay we will discuss this formula in more detail in the next lecture but this is how you can use the KCL to determine the cell constant so that's it for today see you in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching